how Disney should approach my movie. Explain this I will. What I would like to see, if ever my origin story is told, this is, hmm. Draw inspiration from the great fantasy adventures of the 80s, it should. The Dark Crystal and the Labyrinth, most notably. If the Dark Crystal you haven't seen, watch it you must. A masterful live action fantasy starring many of Jim Henson's most imaginative creatures ever. The Dark Crystal is both produced by Gary Kurtz, conceptually designed by Brian Froud and Wendy Froud. Brian and Wendy Froud's kid, Toby Froud, the kid from the labyrinth is Toby worked on Box Rolls and Cubo and the Two Strings, directed his own short film in collaboration with Heather Henson, Jim Henson's daughter this film was involved, they should be visited me on the set of Empire, Kermit did, provided the voice of Aura, Frank Oz, did, mm. the Oscar for Best Acting Puppet Ever, one, I should have, yes, a pivotal part of the story, Kyber Crystals could be, yes, a powerful ally, these crystals are, many puppets and practical effects this should have, combined with computer generated effects this should be, the story about my training under Jedi Master Gordo, with you I would like to share. Similar to a vision quest, in Native American culture, it is. A force vision quest, hmm, yes. A special kyber crystal Gordo gave me, where it around my neck I did. Similar to the light of the star of Erendil, it was glowing bright light when sensing the force. Seeking a kyber crystal cave, I was. The earstecks from the dark crystal and the ancient wills. A resemblance, do you see? Find the journal of the wills I did. Yes. About it, no one I have told. Who should write and who should direct the movie? For part two, tuned you must stay. For watching, you I thank. Your thoughts, share with me please. Subscribe, rate, comment, below please. May the force be with you. Hmm. Or rather, with you may the force be. Yes. A funny I have made. Begun. This Clone War has. Out. You will peace.